You know, we have Christmas coming up, and uh, I was able to get Hank Huff to come over here with his dogs and help us deliver a Christmas message. So, you're up. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Well, my name is Hank Huff. I'm with Kingdom Dog Ministries. Probably need to know that I'm not a pastor. Bill says I'm not a good dog trainer. But what we do is we use our dogs to go across America doing what the Bible says we can do. The Bible is our manual. We train dogs according to God's Word. Just a little bit different than anybody else. We all should do it. But the Bible says in Job 12, 7, it says, if you want to know who God is, strangely enough, it said, ask the beast of the field. I was thrilled to hear that. I love the Lord, but I love these dogs. And to be able to use these dogs to do that just totally excited my heart. But truthfully, didn't think it was true. So about 15 years ago, I got his great-great-grandfather. This is the great-great-grandson of a dog by the name of Prophet. And I brought Prophet out. And if he's supposed to be able to teach me something, then uh, I thought I'd just ask him a real easy question. So I brought old Prophet out, and I said, sit. Prophet, I want to ask you an easy question. Why? It's Christmas time, Prophet. Why, why was Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, why in the world was he born in a stable? Why wasn't he born in a castle? And he looked up at me, I want you to sit please. He looked up at me and he said, are you serious? I said, well, I'm sure I'm serious. How would you know anyway? He said, we were all there, Hank. We've been passing it down for generations. He said, we didn't get to go in because uh, we had to stay outside and keep the bad people out. He said, but let me ask you a question, Hank. He said, what kind of animals do you think were, were in the stable? And I said, what, what do you mean? He said, what well, do you think there were lions in there or tigers in there, or wolves in there? I said, what's your point? He says, no, there wasn't. He said, well, what was in there were some pigeons and doves, and donkeys, camels. I said, I don't understand where you're going, prophet. He said, Hank, think about it. The moment that God sent his beloved son, his only son, at the moment he sent him here to earth, he placed him among those that he would become the greatest of. You see, those were all animals that man used for sacrifice, for forgiveness of their sins, or they used them to carry their burdens. And Jesus Christ was born to carry the greatest burden of all and be the greatest sacrifice of all times. Wow. Thank you, Prophet. Thanks for loving us and thanks for that story. Hey, Merry Christmas to you. Hey, grandson, you, let me ask you something. Do you love me, or do you love the toys I'm going to bring you for Christmas? You be careful asking your children this question. You love me, or you love the toys I'm going to give you for Christmas? No, sir. Thank you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for making me your greatest treasure. What another lesson for you this Christmas. Just because you love me, back. Back. Oh yeah, what'd you get? Because you love me the most? You didn't get a duck. Here, heel, sit. He got a gold duck. Merry Christmas to you. And so 2,000 years ago, Jesus was born so that you and I could have eternal life. So we're very happy and grateful that we can have this wonderful time of year together. Thank you all so very much for your support during the past year and a very, very Merry Christmas to each and every one of you.